I'm Goose and welcome to Scoop. On today's episode, games made of blocks, consoles made of cardboard, and I play with a snake? No, I didn't agree to that at all! No, it's in the studio! Oh! Oh! Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, I'm staying up here. All right, let's kick things off with the news. Yeah. All right, I think I'm safe over here. And first up, some sad news for any virtual penguins. Disney will be closing down its long-running online game, Club Penguin. The popular, massively multiplayer browser game had been running for over 12 years. But when one penguin closes its door, another one opens, with Club Penguin Island launching on mobiles to fill its shoes. Or whatever it is penguins wear on their feet. And next up, what do you do if your grown-ups won't buy you that new console you're desperately craving? Well, if you're this kid, you make it out of cardboard. Twitter user Amma Chan shared a video of her little brother's homemade Nintendo Switch, which he made because his mum wouldn't buy him a real one. His is oh so close to the real thing though, with detachable controllers, Joy-Con grip, cartridges, and even a dock. I'm sure it looked good on paper too. And next up, a player known as Mr. Squishy has recreated Pokemon Red in the PC version of Minecraft. Mr. Squishy recoded the whole game by hand, bugs and all, by using over 350,000 individual command blocks, creating a giant city of code. That city then runs the game on a huge virtual Game Boy, which is in a massive Pokemon stadium. The project took him almost two years to complete, during which time he walked almost 3,000 kilometers within the game. Impressively, it doesn't require any mods to play, just one resource pack. Ha! <laughs> the things people make in Minecraft never cease to amaze. Well, that's it for the news. Now, let's go for a slither. <laughs> ah! I'm sliding in now for a hands-on with Snake Pass, which is an indie platformer by Sumo Digital, and in it you play Noodle, the adorable snake, with a rather unique control method. So let's slide on in and see how it plays. All right, first things first, select a save game. I bit my tongue. All right, new game. Left stick to snake around. There we go. Oh, it feels kind of icky, but cool at the same time. Speaking of unique control methods, I'm currently playing with my own version of the Joy-Con. Bajo left the grip at home, so I just uh, put together this fandangled version with some sticky tape. So by sliding left and right, I actually move faster than in a straight line. All right, let's head this way. Picking up these orbs of, I'm gonna say water, but I have no idea what they are. Clearly I can collect a whole lot of them. Lift your head by holding A. Hey, buddy. Uh. <laughs> That's creepy now. Okay, over we go. I mean, he's got a cute face. I'll give him that. And a cute name. But he's still a snake. That, whoa. Kind of hovers. We need to find the keystone. Bring it back. Simple enough. Simple. You really don't move very fast if you don't slither correctly. Found the keystone. Put it in the gate. Standard platforming this. Over to the gate, and voila. It's pretty straightforward, but I imagine the controls and the platforming is gonna get rather tricky later on. For now though, I'm doing all right. If I do say so myself. All right, I'm gonna stop that. Wrap yourself around the beams to climb up. Come on, Noodle. Yes. Yeah, now I'm stuck. Come on, Noodle, go. Noodle, don't give up now. Come on, Noodle. I mean, that's adorable. But we're not getting anywhere quickly. Look at his little face. Climb! Slide! We're almost there. All right, there's a bit of momentum. We are on our way. Whew, the physics are really cool. Whoa! Hey, check it out. He's carrying my tail. Press Y again if you want me to let go. All right, that would have helped earlier. Grab my tail. Thank you. Oh, look at us. Jungle team. Fly! <laughs> not quite. We're good, we're good, we're good. Grab my tail. Keystone three, that's it. Be like the snake goose. Whee! Splash. Oh, he holds his breath. That's adorable. All three keystones. This is different. Every beast that slithers, skitters, and crawls is in your debt. Take this as our thanks. Stupendous. Good work, game. So we are on to a whole new set of worlds. But I think for now we're gonna leave it there. 
So that was my first play of Snake Pass, and straight away I really liked it. It's bright, it's colourful, it looks fun, the characters are really cute, but most importantly, it's simple. The controls are there to move you around like a snake and make you feel like a snake, and then the rest of it is just obstacles to overcome. You've got to grab some items and just navigate your way through this beautiful little world, and that's enough of a challenge. I wasn't being bombarded with story, there weren't extra characters that kept chatting, it was just get through the level and move on to the next stage. Just traditional old platforming, but done differently, which I really liked. Whoa. Of course, there are collectibles in each level, quite a few of them actually. I'm not quite sure what you use them for, but maybe it's something to keep you coming back and trying some of these levels again as you become more proficient as a slippery snake. I do hope there's some more variety in later levels and worlds, because right now we're just seeing a lot of jungle, temple, ruins, all that sort of stuff, but it might be nice to see noodles sliding around an icy slope or avoiding some lava or just a bit more variety to it. Overall, they're short, well-designed levels and I really like them. I can't say the same about snakes. Noodle has definitely restored some of my faith in the little slippery, suspicious creatures, but I don't know if I fully trust them yet. It's just the way they move. <sighs> All right, guys, you're okay. Now settle down, shush, shush. Well, that's the scoop for this week, but before we go, a massive thank you to 13-year-old Ethan for sending in this delightful drawing of a guardian from Zelda. They're usually quite terrifying in the game, but in art form, I'd argue they're quite cute. Great work, Ethan. Straight on the wall. Bam! Ah, perfect. And remember, if you've created some video game art, you can send it into us at Scoop at this address. Well, until next time, from me and all my snake buddies here in the studio, goose out. All right, guys, let's work on those lisps. Sally, Samantha, Stephen, I'm looking at you. One, two, three, spawn point Scoop. Yeah, they're getting better.